All right, I got some other questions here that some folks have contacted me about, and I'm going to answer them. So let me show you guys what I'm seeing here. Let me show you what I'm seeing. All right, so I've got a, a question from my man Solomon H. And he says, I received a contingent offer for, wait, wait, wait for a security control assessor position. And I'm, proce I'm in the process of getting my clearance. I don't have a background in risk management framework or any cybersecurity compliance. What advice can you give me? I'm relatively new to, in cybersecurity and only have one to two years experience as a, a system administrator. I know that my job will focus on security and privacy controls as I look over the NIST 853 documentation. I've enrolled in your course and so I can better understand an overview of how risk management framework works. Um, is there anything else that you can help me with or give me any kind of guidance? Yeah, actually I really can help with this. Um, I, I would say that if you happen to be watching this, Solomon, like as a System administrator, if you guys out there are system administrators, you should know, and especially if you're trying to go into cybersecurity, you should know that actually you have many years of security experience. So if you have set up a server before and had to put the patches on that server, that's security experience. If you've ever had to do some documentation on the system that you set up, you know, where you had to draw out a diagram, put that together and shop that around to the rest of the the guys on the on the staff, you've done, that's cybersecurity. That's that's a little taste of all of these different things are tastes of cybersecurity. If you've ever had to help the compliance guys out, you know, and those guys that contact you and say, hey, could you give me a blurb or some documentation about what what the security feature of the system is? Guess what? That's you've actually assisted with cybersecurity compliance. If you've ever put a uh, secured software on the system. You put the software on there and then you had to update it. That's also cybersecurity because you're updating the patches that could have been exploited by a threat actor, you know. So if you've ever put signatures on a system for antivirus, that's also cybersecurity. Um, if you've ever hardened a system, like where, okay, let's say that there is a password protection on there, but it doesn't have upper and lower case and it doesn't have password complexity, but you had to go into the back end of the server and ensure that the whole organization is enforcing uh, password complexity or enforcing multi-factor authentication or enforcing audit logs to in, be enabled for anybody who's failed a failed login attempts or anything all of those things if you are a system administrator are things that you could put on your you should put on your resume as a cybersecurity person because you have done cybersecurity in fact you have i would argue you have done more cybersecurity than some who have quote are quote unquote in cybersecurity who have not done any technical stuff and all they do is policy. You've done more than them because you're now be able to go deep in policy and deep in technical the technical side. Your skills are very much needed in this field. Now you said that you're going into security control assessments. So this is security control assessors from my interactions with them and having done this myself we the t you need a team of people who can assess different aspects of an organization's uh, systems. What I mean by that is you're not just looking at documentation. You're not just looking at their security policy and saying, okay, looks like you've got you guys have a policy in place and it's been updated on this and that date. You're not just doing that. You're also ensuring that the organization is complying with their own security policies and that means that you have to run thing do things like run scans you know so you might have to polish up on your ability to run a nessus scan or a i don't know name a name a scanner and you might have to know a little bit more about that but i'm sure you'll pick that up pretty fast being a system administrator so that's one thing yeah learning the nist 837 i would say is, is another place to look but if you're taking my course 
that's going to walk, that's going to really touch on what you need to know for NIST 853 and NIST 837. It's going to really touch on those things. And there's perspective of an information system security officer. That course is actually really good for SEA, especially if you're new to that work. So yeah, I hope that that helps. That's a little bit of guidance for you if you're taking the course. If you happen to see this this video, Salman, any questions you have whatsoever, I actually am currently doing assessments for different organizations, so I can help you out with that.